Oi, I'm on. I'm onto it. Really big. What's up, guys? Today I'm here under Bonnock Bridge fishing, trying to catch some flathead, brim, or dewfish. So they tend to hang, out, hang under bridges, under structure, and they come out at the slacker tide, okay? So today my setup is a Sahara 1000, a dual rod, and I've got a little paddle tail, Z-Man paddle tail motor oil with just a one-eighth one -eighth jig head. All right, I'll get straight into it. Guys, it is the next day from yesterday and I'm feeling like we're gonna catch a fish. I'm just gonna be working the edges of this banks with a little soft plastic under the bridge and I'm gonna see if we can pull a big dog off the bottom. The setup that I'm using today is the same as yesterday. The dual rod, the Sahara. This is eight pound blue braid, yay braid. Just 10 pound litre. And yeah, should catch us a good flathead. So I'm just going to be working the banks along here. It's looking really, really good and really smooth and flat. And yeah, first cast. Hopefully a big dog hits it. Three, two, one. Oh, that's a good cast. Let's go. So I've had a couple casts with this, but it is really big, like it is a big plastic. So I might switch to another one. I have a couple little choices in my pocket here. So I have a couple little ones. I've got like this big pink one. This, I think I might put the Bay Junkie on. That's little four inch bay junkie. That is a 2.5 inch bay junkie that I might put on. And that's just like a uh, little scooty. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to this little bay junkie and we should be able to hook up on this because this is a really good plastic that I use for all my good flathead. So how you rig them up is you just line that up to the middle. You sort of just push down in the middle as, as far as you can and just put it to where you think is right and just do that and then that should be it. Yeah. This jig head is really too like too big. But what I normally do, I've already done this. So you just do that, do that, and then you just line it up, see where you're gonna do it, put a little slit in it and then put it where it's meant to be. So you go through the middle. Down to here, to about there where you, your slit is. Then you just pull it down like that. Most people just like try to slide it down, but you want to pull it from the jigger to there. And to me, that looks like flattered candy. Let's see if that can catch us a fish, okay? Let's go. That's a good cast. That there is swimming really good. I don't know if you can see that, but that's swimming really good in the water. The one got pretty boring pretty quick, so it wasn't really that good of a squeegee. Um, one of like a little flooded must have taken a bite out of the tail, so it doesn't swim real good. But I got this little paddle tail thingy, little Savage Gear paddle tail, 2.5 inch, and yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking and keep casting. There has to be a flat and long ear, you'd think. It's all just perfect conditions for it. And let's go. That's a good cast. So the retrieve that I'm doing is just the same as yesterday. Cast out and then up, up, up. And then I'm gonna put a slow wind on the edge of it and see if that attracts the brim or the flat edge just to come off the bottom and grab it. Let's go. So I've just been walking from the bridge down to here and I found this little shell spot. All the way along here is just shells upon shells. It's everywhere. On high tide, this would be a little good brim spot. It just goes on and on to everywhere around here. And if you're on high tide for our top water level here, with some brim, I'm game to see that you would catch a brim. Definitely a brim. Okay, I'm just going to try here. I just keep walking along there and we 
We should be good. First cast of this little destination here. It's little mud flats and it's looking good here. Really good. Oh, first cast. Um, I was just on. I was just on. See if he comes back, just leave that there. First cast and I was just on. Kidding me. This spot must be good. First cast and I was just on. While talking to the camera. So I'm just walking down here and I'm just gonna be flicking along this whole bank. I've got the whole bank to go up there and back that way. So there should be a flat out along this bank because it's all mud. There's a couple little rocks, but other than that, it's all mud. You can see them little rocks in the water. I think I'm pretty sure you can see. But yeah, basically other than that, it's all mud, see all that? It's all mud. And you just sink in this stuff, look. You just sink in it. That's pretty good for flathead, they always love the mud. And yeah, let's go. Can you guys see that? Something's just busting up all the way down there. It's huge bust ups. Let's go, we gotta go. They're busting up everywhere. Let's go. Oh. They're busting up everywhere. See them? They're down here. There must be a big school or something. All the way down there under the bridge. Busting up everywhere. Let's go. We're going to get there. Just in time to catch whatever they are. Hopefully. Be cast in there. Catch whatever they are. They're getting busted up. Up here. Let's go. I just slipped over. But they were just busting up right there. I gotta go. See if we can pop a cast in there and see what they are. By the looks of it, they might have gone. But I gotta wash my hands. But I slipped over and saved myself by my hands. See this? This is all just what was just there, just then. Oh, I'm shaking. Whatever was busting up was, was huge. Oi, I'm on. I'm on to it. Really big. Whatever this is, going really hard. I'm hoping it's a Trevally. Really good fighting this thing, whatever this is. It's just taking drag. I can't even wind. Oh, get away from pylon. Come on, lock up. Get it in. Come on, mate. Not over there. Oh, what is that? Big tailor, I think. Good tailor. Really good tailor. Oh, they're still busting off out there. I'm pretty sure this is a tailor. A really good tailor. Yeah, this is a good tailor. Very good tailor. Look at that. Look at that. That is a really, really good tailor. So that's what's just rocked up. A really big tailor. We're gonna let him go. There he is, he's gone. So that is really cool. A really big tailor just hit my rod. I ran from all the way up there at the gate, as you saw. Me just running down here. Had a quick flick in there, first cast, and you heard that drag screaming. Let's see if we can catch another one. Let's go. I've just hooked up to a really good fish here. So, it's fighting. Oh, gone. It wasn't really fighting. That felt really heavy, just like a dead weight, just little, little head shakes. Really little head shakes. That felt really big. Uh, let's just do that again, but a bigger one. Let's go. Oh, they're back. They're, they're busting up over here. They're everywhere down here. I'm in there. Yes, I'm up. I'm on. So this is just a video release of me releasing this one. There he goes, he's gone. I'm gonna get another cast in, in the video. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can catch another one, let's go. 
Oi, so I've just hooked up again. I don't think it's like nothing big here. It's coming towards me. It feels really, really small. It's taking a little bit of drag. Oh, a little flathead. Still pretty good, but yeah. We'll get him off the hook. Get a good release on him. Just that little bugger. All right, let's go. Just this little one, little tucker. We're just going to release him just here in the water for you guys to see. He's gone. There he is.